Sabina Hasanova with the latest news in English on Asvision TV. Over the past 24 hours, Armenian armed forces have violated the ceasefire along the contact line between Azerbaijan and Armenian troops 26 times, reports the Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilhan Aliyev, received Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, Sergei Lavrov. The head of state stressed that the Russian Foreign Minister's visit to Azerbaijan opens up a good opportunity to discuss important issues of mutual interest. Touching upon the Armenia-Azerbaijan Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, President Aliyev said Azerbaijan hopes Russian efforts to solve the conflict peacefully. In turn, Sergei Lavrov hailed the level of relations between the two countries. The foreign minister emphasized, as a co-chair of the OCE Minsk Group, Russia supports a peaceful resolution to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. President of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev received Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Turkey, Mevlut Çavuşoğlu, earlier today. Ilham Aliyev noted that friendly and fraternal relations between Azerbaijan and Turkey stand at the highest level. Referring to the projects implemented by the countries, Aliyev stressed that the Tanap, Tap and Baku Tbilisi Kars projects are of great importance on a global scale. The president also thanked Ankara for its continued support over the settlement of the Armenia-Azerbaijan Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. The sites discussed prospects for further development of bilateral ties. Baku hosted the 39th meeting of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the Organization of the Black Sea Economic Cooperation Member States today. Delegations headed by the senior officials of the BSEC member states took part in the meeting held under Azerbaijan's chairmanship. The participants discussed a number of issues including trade facilitation, promotion of cooperation in such areas as energy, ICT, tourism and agriculture. Note that the main priorities of Azerbaijan's chairmanship are to render efficient, reliable and safe transport and transit services. After Azerbaijan, the chairmanship will be transferred to Bulgaria. The fifth interparliamentary union global conference of young parliamentarians kicked off in Baku earlier today. On the theme of promoting sustainability, protecting the interests of future generations, the conference is jointly organized by the IPU and the National Assembly of Azerbaijan. At first, the participants of the conference visited the Alley of Martyrs to honor the memory of the national heroes of Azerbaijan. Later on, the opening ceremony of the conference took place. Over the course of two days, young MPs from all corners of the world will come together with youth organizations and other stakeholders to discuss the role of youth in environmental protection, sustainable consumption and production, and prioritizing youth environment. Making a speech during the 5th Interparliamentary Union Global Conference of Young Parliamentarians, Oktay Asadov, Speaker of the Parliament of Azerbaijan, said the United Nations and other international organizations demand an immediate and unconditional withdrawal of Armenian armed forces from the occupied territories of Azerbaijan. The Speaker noted that the decisions and resolutions adopted by the UN Security Council and other international organizations unequivocally support the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Azerbaijan. He expressed confidence that the conflict will be settled based on these principles and in accordance with international law. The new mobile application of the State Migration Service of Azerbaijan has been introduced to the public. The Chief of the State Migration Service, Vusal Hussainov, highlighted the main features of the application, which includes permanent and temporary residence permissions, checking the restriction and application status, online payment, online queue, ascent visa and other services. Vusal Hussainov said that foreigners and non-citizens will also be able to use online services. The users can make calls and inquiries using the mobile application. The application is available in Azerbaijani, Russian and English. The application will also provide the users with information about the history of Azerbaijan, touristic centers in the country, national music and national cuisine. Currently, the application can be uploaded from the Play Market. And that was all for today from Asvision TV. Our next update will be on Monday. Thank you for your attention.